Spurge here, and in this video, we are going to break down the new Reax Katana riding shoes. So what you're gonna see in front of me is the newest iteration from Reax in their riding shoe line. This is gonna be something a little bit more everyday friendly. Um, it's gonna definitely be two season in its functionality. This is not a waterproof shoe. This is gonna be a mesh shoe with a lot of really cool technology when we talk about the materials in this. Around the $180 price point, think two, possibly three season. This is something you're wearing at the towards the middle to end of spring, all throughout the summer, and then it'll get you into the fall months. So let's kick off by starting with sizing. So I typically am a 12 and a half. I've measured my foot on a Brannock device. I have worn plenty of different brands of motorcycling boots. I am almost always without fail a 12 and a half. Another comparison I could throw out there would be my Converse All-Stars. I am a 13 in my Chuck Taylors. I feel like everybody at their one point in life or another has just worn a pair of Chuck Taylors. So what I will say with these, Sizes will range from an eight up to a 14. Half sizes are only available in nine, 10, and 11. At a 12 and a half, I went up to a 13 to try that. And my problem was it was just a bit too narrow as it comes down to the toe box. You can see what I'm talking about. It kind of comes down to a little bit of a point. And this is typical of other Reax boots that I have worn, mainly the Fultons. Um, what I do is I size up to a 14 and it fits me fine. So if you are between sizes, or if you are someone that knows that you have a wider foot, I would definitely recommend sizing up one size. And if you truly have a D width or wider, this is probably gonna be too narrow for you. So something just to keep in mind. So with sizing out of the way, let's talk about some of the unique features on this that I really do like. Um, the Duramid material in this is a combination of Aramid. It's really like an Aramid blend, which combines mesh and Aramid to give you a material that is both cut and abrasion resistance. There's not any seams on here. It's all thermo welded. So it really kind of works down into that rubber sole without any seams. And it's just gonna flow a tremendous amount of air. You're also gonna get protection up around the toe box. Now, while this rubberized toe box looks like it's gonna be stiff, it's actually not gonna be a reinforced toe box, but you are getting rather rigid reinforcement right at the very tip of the toe and then a nice heel cup at the back. So the other thing that we look at when we're looking at, at shoes is just how rigid it is. The soles on this are incredibly rigid compared to a regular riding shoe. Um, I would say maybe a six to a seven out of 10 on the rigidity scale. Um, they're comfortable to walk around in, but if you're putting these on for the first time, they are definitely going to feel more rigid than what you, know, you would expect to see from a regular riding shoe. Now the one note that I'll make is I had the same experience when I got to wear the, the uh, Fultons from Reacts, and those were actually the ones that I used for my trip to India. They were very comfortable to wear all day long. So despite the fact that right out of the box, the sole seemed pretty rigid, I found them to be quite comfortable. Now the sole on this is gonna be a rubber sole. And I think that this kind of, the sole on this reminds me almost of like a Nike waffle trainer. And I know that because my wife recently bought a pair of Nike waffle trainers and she leaves them laying all over my house. So honey, if you're watching this, um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to know exactly what a, a Nike waffle trainer sole looks like on a regular basis. But that's really kind of where I see the inspiration coming from for this. And then as we work our way through, another unique feature that you're gonna notice is that the top of this has this built-in booty system. So a little bit tricky to get used to with getting this in and out. It actually took me a little while. I thought I was like gonna you know, pull too much and rip it but it does just do a nice job of keeping the shoe feeling like it kind of is encompassing and hugging your, your foot once you get it in. But just keep in mind that when you're trying to get this in for the first time, it might seem a bit awkward. We've seen this technology before in the sneaker world with some high tops that are out there and Reax is carrying it through. The other thing that I thought first and foremost as I was pulling this out of the box was, oh, this must be some kind of a waterproof liner. It's not, so don't confuse the booty system on this with any kind of waterproof liner. Um, this is truly an air shoe. Axial AVP foam at the top on this to give you both lateral and medial side ankle protection. So you're not gonna see big bulky ankle cups, but you are getting that axial armor built in there for extra protection. And then the lace system on this, you're gonna see as you get to the top, there's both inner 
kind of hidden lace stays as well as some of the outer side. So I think it's a nice compromise to help try to bury some of the laces in there. Anytime you're wearing a riding shoe, you want to be careful that the laces don't get caught up in the motorcycle chain or the moving parts. And then there is just a little bit of a pull tab on the front. Um, not too much, you know, it's not like something you would see where you're gonna have Velcro that comes down over top of it. That would have been nice. Little pops are reflective, blacked out, kind of hiding throughout. So you're gonna have a shoe that definitely has some reflective built into it. Again, I think my, my biggest note here is gonna be on sizing. I like the style. I like the fact that you're getting an abrasion resistant shoe that flows a ton of air. I like that the sole is gonna be rigid, much more like you'd see with a more aggressive boot, but yet still something that's comfortable to walk around in all day. However, you know, if you have a wider foot or if you know that you get pain around your large toe, uh, this is definitely gonna be a little bit narrower as it works down in the toe box. So just be aware of that when you're considering sizing. So for those of you out there that want more information, maybe you wanna hear what other riders have to say, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and you could read more about what other riders are saying about the new Katana shoe that they are rocking on their rides. If you're still not sure as to which pair of riding shoes is right for your budget and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the options available to make sure that you find the right pair of footwear. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the new Reax Katana riding shoes. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. Uh -huh.